Hello everyone. This is an appendix to the second webinar of the Applied Social Media Marketing short course. I had promised to give a little bit of a, an idea of some of the advantages of studying with IT Masters or the benefits of studying with IT Masters and CSU. And indeed I did forget about it, um, but also we're running a little bit late during the webinar. so. Even if I hadn't forgot about it, I might have actually delayed it till the next week anyway. Anyway, I'll put this recording up on the learn.itmasters.edu.au page and you can have a look at it yourself. I'll also attach a, a quick question underneath it asking if anyone wants a, a bit more of a, a, a bit more information and, and I'll get in touch with them personally. So we'll get going. As you can see, the benefits of studying with IT Masters CSU is the topic of this little video. So just a quick rundown, we'll start with an intro to CSU and then go on to why you should study at CSU over, over other options. And then I'll give you some details about what is available at Charles Sturt University and particularly um, what we offer as IT Masters as a, as a partner to CSU. So, uh, an intro to CSU. Charles Sturt University is a, a multi-campus university based in New South Wales. It's got campuses in Bathurst, Wagga Wagga, Canberra, Orange, Port Macquarie to list just a few. There are more. We'd be here all night if we listed everything. Um, and as you can see, it's, it's mostly in regional centres and often with quite beautiful campuses. Uh, we're going to be talking most mostly about online courses. It's what IT Master specialises in. And indeed, from the first week, remember that we, we deliver Charles Sturt University's online master's programs on behalf of them and market them, which is, is what this is and what the short courses realistically are. Um, it's just hopefully the short courses are, are pretty useful in their own right. So why CSU? Um, I've got a fair few charts here as to why CSU is, is an excellent choice, particularly uh, when talking about IT related courses um, and postgrad. You can see here, uh, this is a, a chart listing the number of students in IT postgraduate domestic. And you can see this, this uh, information is probably about uh, three or four years old from the census data, but the new census data has come in um, and the, the ratios, if anything, have actually improved in terms of IT postgrad domestic students. Um, we've, we've consolidated our position as a market leader uh, for, for students in IT. And I, th I like to think that IT Masters has a, has a bit to do with that. We've got a, an excellent industry focus. Um, our mentors are often well placed in the in the industry, like Andrew Mashman, um, Brenton Birchmore, Matt Constable, Karen Sleeman, just to name a few. Um, anyone who's been involved in a few short courses will know those names, and and they bring not only a, an excellent ability to teach, but an ability to sort of translate the theory and and um, an ability to apply the theory to industry contexts. We're also market leaders in online study. Uh, you can see there the number of online students. Um, and again, this, this information is a little bit old, um, but again, the, the, the trends and the patterns have not changed enough to, to warrant really much of a, an update. And you can see uh, we specialize in online, you know, online education, which allows people in rural, in rural locations or indeed anywhere around Australia or the world to, to partake in our courses. Um, we think that it provides people who are working with a great degree of flexibility, um, pe people who prefer to study online um, just as a matter of course. And, and really it's, it's just sort of a great way to, to make sure that uh, we can control everything and, and get the best people um, 
teaching the course. They're, you know, Brendan teaches from Singapore, for example, and, and teaches people in Bathurst. So uh, the online element is, I think, a really useful way for lots of people um, to access our, our content and learn the things that they need to learn wherever they are, whenever they can actually do it with all of the other <laughs> elements of life that people need to take into consideration when deciding whether or not to study, particularly I think for a master's because generally people are already based in an industry or well established enough to, I guess, to, to make it that um, undertaking a, a postgraduate qualification is actually a risk if, for example, you're looking to transition careers as, as many of you might be seeking to transition from, for example, marketing to, to digital marketing. It's just a, a table on return on investment figures. Um, this is from the 2016 census. Um, recycling a joke and a slide. Uh, I said this on the old business analysis short course, so, and which is why the, the project management uh, difference in earnings is highlighted. So sorry for that. Should have fixed that up, but oh well. Um, you can see, you know, uh, over the course of a 25 year career, there is a, uh, just a tangible, measurable effect on, on earnings. If if the question for you or the important factor for you is in, in deciding whether or not to to enrol in a postgraduate qualification is is a financial one, then if there's enough time to, I guess to to reap the benefits of of that. Uh, of that qualification in terms of a career, then, then it will prove fruitful. I think there's a bunch of other uh, reasons why you could study as well. If you're really interested in marketing, whether it's just traditional or digital, particularly, you know, there's heaps of amazing reasons to to go to go to school. I myself am studying part time while working at IT Masters, and there's so many people that I talk to about, you know, whether or not they want to enroll in a postgrad qualification, have as a, a driving focus their commitment to lifetime learning. So it's just a nice bonus, I guess, that if you if you are interested in that, you can, you also stand to to gain financially from it. Maybe get a bit more security. We'll have a little bit of like understanding, of course, that um, for some people it, it's it is a massive commitment in terms of upfront cost, um, and we'll have a, a chat about that in a few slides time. As we go through the, the details and the study options um, when studying with IT Masters in Charles Sturt University. So here's the qualification hierarchy. Um, of course, we've got undergrad and um, that's something that IT Masters don't deal in. Um, and indeed the doctorate is something that we only only sort of dabble in. Most of our programs are graduate certificates, graduate diplomas or masters, and that we offer them in very specific re, uh, areas. Uh, technical IT, essentially, project management, and where, as, we've, as you would have heard and we've discussed in previous webinars, we're also launching the, the social media applied social media, um, no, applied digital marketing uh, masters, I should say, which we think fits very much within our, our sort of purview. Um, there's so much to learn about, I guess, um, process control and, and configuration management within these, uh, within this field. Uh, I think it, it'll, it all crosses over quite nicely. So we've got the, a graduate certificate sits underneath the graduate diploma actually um, in, in our system. We, most of our degree, well, actually in the future, most of our degrees will will sort of be a, a tiered system. So you can do four subjects of a grad cert and they nest within the graduate diploma and they nest within the masters. So, so here's an example, the graduate certificate. You can enroll in that one to start with just to, um, I guess just to, to not make sure that you're not over committing that you're just taking it bit by bit or perhaps um, if because the the entry 
uh, requirements are slightly different if you if you don't have a a history of of university education then uh, experience can get you into the graduate certificate where it can't get you into the masters so it's a nice way to sort of uh, make sure that you can then be automatically um, eligible for, for entry into a master's program but you can see you complete the four subjects and the four subjects are subjects that are available within the masters they're just tailored to make sure that you're getting the fundamentals before moving on to the perhaps more diverse subjects and and I guess uh, subjects where you where you get to choose which particular stream you, you'd like to follow. So for those degrees that have the, the graduate diploma, uh, it would actually be, oh, I'll, I'll turn on my, my pen here. You can see, hopefully in the recording, there'd be another tier in there and that would be graduate diploma. Oh, back a pointer, there we go, that's the one. So you can see that, that would be a graduate diploma. There'll be another four subjects and um, yeah, you just sort of break it off into chunks and, and take it as it comes. You can, there's heaps of flexibility. You can, you can defer, you can take leaves of absences as, as it says on this slide here when we're talking about time commitment. So we have six sessions per year where you can, I guess six intakes per year. Um, and that's again about making sure that there's lots of flexibility for students. Um, we know it's hard. You know, many of our students have families, full-time jobs, uh, and balancing lots of things. Uh, so we figure if we can give people as many options as possible um, as to as to when they want to study, then they can choose the one that's best for them. We recommend ten hours study per week per subject, which is is fairly standard for for all university level subjects, courses, universities. So yeah, we understand that it's a, it's a decent commitment, um, but we try and make it as easy as we can for students to sort of manage their time. We, we provide lots of, I guess, assistance. Um, there's lots of study skills sessions. If you need to, you can withdraw before census and, and make sure that you're not sort of paying for, for something that you're not going to be able to commit to properly. And there's also leaves of absence and deferring um, available. Again, it's just making sure you, you, you're getting in touch with us. We, we actually really like to hear from students and say, who say, you know, I'm struggling. Um, that way we can work out a, a plan and, and make sure that we, we're finding the best fit for students. Um, but, you know, relevant to their situation. But there's absolutely no issues with sort of stopping and starting. Um, it's just so much easier if we if we know what's going on. And yeah, we just really want to, I guess, have a dialogue with, with all of our students and say, well, all right, what's going to happen for the next semester? What's your plan? Is it realistic? And we'll, we'll talk about it. Cost. 33.50 per subject. There's also a student services and amenities fee, uh, which is uh, sort of divided between uh, different groups at Charles Sturt University, Charles Sturt University, including the, the student union, uh, who we provide all sorts of great services for people, uh, both on campus and online, access to support, uh, legal advice, um, great events, uh, yeah, the, the, the gamut. I, I'm involved with my student university, uh, my university student union, and yeah, it, it really does enrich um, my experiences. There's so much more to to the university experience than just just the knowledge. You can network, you can make some great mates, you can have access to heaps of great events and and often free food if you're on campus. You may also be eligible for help through the Commonwealth Government Fee Help Program. All Australian citizens who live in Australia, I should add, are eligible for, to access the, the Commonwealth Government Fee Help Program and will be offered that 
as a matter of course, offered access to that program as a matter of course, once they apply for and are accepted into uh, a postgrad qualification. There's limits about, um, I guess, upper ceilings on, on the amount that people access that, and they've changed recently. Um, but in most cases, you will be eligible unless you've got a huge amount of, uh, I guess, uni university history and um, a few degrees and all those, or something like that. Um, yeah, in most cases, it'd be fine. As you can see, entry requirements, if you want to jump straight into the master's degree, uh, just need a bachelor's degree first uh, to, to be able to go straight in. Uh, but if you don't have that, a bachelor's, that's totally fine. If you've got some relevant industry experience, you can come in through the, the graduate certificate pathway. And what that means is that if you, if you don't have the bachelor's degree or, or equivalent, and you, but you've been working sort of tangentially in the field, uh, you can, you can enf enter that way. So for example, if you're looking to get into the, the applied digital marketing degree or, or, or yeah, eventually get the, the applied digital marketing masters, you can go in and apply for the graduate certificate in digital marketing. And what that means is you just have to show evidence of, of three years or also uh, experience in marketing. Um, and we'll be able to say, yep, that's, that's shows to us that you, have some understanding of the of the basic fundaments, uh, and and would be able to to flourish in the in the course and in the subjects, and then once you finish the graduate certificate, then you get automatic eligibility and into uh, any of the master's programs. And I think it's it's probably a, a smart way to just to go in and do the graduate certificate to start with. Um, first of all, it's just breaking into a more manageable chunk. And I think, you know, it's a, as much about managing perceptions as anything when, for me personally, um, when sort of weighing decisions as to whether to study or not. Uh, but also because you're technically alumni, once you finish the grad cert with Charles State University, you get 10% off any future qualifications. So you, you walk away not only with two qualifications, but you can save about three grand over the course of the masters once you go on and finish the, the other eight subjects. So always available if you want to, to have a chat about, I guess, entry pathways and, and whether or not it's a suitable course for you. So yeah, just let me know if you want to have a chat. So for those interested in applying, you can go to that website just there. I'll post the slides up as well. Um, and if you want to check your eligibility for further credit towards a CSU or IT master degree, you can uh, fill out an eligibility application, uh, uh, an assessment, an application for an eligibility assessment at the, at the second link. Um, there's a few ways to earn credit towards a, a CSU qualification postgrad with IT masters. One is through previous study of the same level. So um, we can't accept credit or we can't recognize prior learning for, for subjects completed at a lower level for, for the undergrad, uh, in an undergrad, for example. Um, but we can, if you've got a closely related post-grad qualification, um, transfer some of the knowledge you've gained for that one and, and get recognition for that prior learning. There's a few, I guess, details, but, but honestly, just let us do that. If you, if you've got it, just let us know what you have got and we'll sort of have a chat about, um, and assess the extent to which it, it's appropriate to, to recognize it. There's also industry certifications. Um, there's a limited number of industry certifications for the applied digital marketing masters but that's just because it's a it's a new um, new course so we haven't gone through and made all of the industry connections that we do with some of the other ones so for project management and and networking for example masters so yeah, there's an enormous number of industry certifications that you can earn credit towards a qualification in and I expect that, that will be the case in sort of the next year or two with the digital marketing one 
if you do have any industry certifications, um, feel free to get in touch with us and it might sort of expedite the process of us, of us vetting them and, and doing the research necessary to then uh, add it to a, a, an approved list. The third way, which I haven't put in there for some silly reason, uh, is short course involvement. For any student of three IT masters short courses where they pass the exam, um, the students are eligible for recognition of that and um, for a maximum of one subject credit. So you can do this course and a couple of others. All of the uh, short courses are available in perpetuity or the resources are constantly available and the exams are waiting, they're ready to be completed um, once all of the hurdle participation requirements have been satisfied. And once the work has been done, you can actually pass the exam. So yeah, I, I just think it's a it's a no-brainer. Just go in and do the short courses that are mo of most interest to you. There's a couple of short courses on on social media. There's a few managing a business or or learning skill or like skills-based um, short courses, which can be really useful. Um, or if you've got a wide range of interests, you can have a look at a few of the other areas in which we've got short courses too and and those short courses would be recognized as a as sort of replacing an industry elective which is what IT masters specialize in just because a lot of these short courses have have so much emphasis on on I guess the application of the skills so yeah three ways to get eligibility or three ways to get credit I should say uh, towards a, a qualification and you know, again feel free to get in touch with me um, this was a slide that I was going to encourage you to to write something in the chat to get in touch with me um, but yeah you're listening to the recording so so I'll put something in the in the course page and if you want to have a chat yeah just let me know Well, I think that'll do it. The next slide is just about questions. Um, so clearly no one's around for that. Um, again, sorry for forgetting and also sorry for running late. We wouldn't have been able to do it in any case. So thanks very much for paying attention. And if you want to get in touch, please do. <laughs>